Today we found a big boat, as well as an aircraft of note. A helicopter too, one tank to view, and one that thinks it can float. Merry Nickmas, my dudes. On today's Blueprint Dump, we have the Expeditionary Force, a group of units centered around assaulting hostile beaches. First on our list is the Razzle-class destroyer. At 189 meters in length, and just shy of a million resource points, the Razzle-class surely isn't a starter ship. However, it is well worth the cost. This ship is designed to provide fire support, with its armament centered around countering incoming enemy missiles and aircraft. Two 13-inch railguns, two 30mm rotary cannons, and a plethora of missiles allow the destroyer to give incoming threats the old razzle-dazzle from up to five kilometers away. Being the newest in the line of Spud Cub's designs, the Razzle class comes with a few new high-tech features, such as real-time holographic warning displays indicating hostile forces, missiles, lasers, or low battery, ammo, and fuel. Automatic jamming, missile interceptors, and a modular SeaWiz system provide missile countermeasures. And a spacious hangar deck accommodates jets, helicopters, and marine forces. In the near future, my new ships may be built with the same modern stealth aesthetic, as well as incorporating these new high-tech features directly into the design. We have here the newest iteration of the F-20 VTOL fighter. The new Superhawk Advanced Fighter features the classic Seahawk folding wings and tilt thruster VTOL. New VTOL mode auto stabilization that keeps the plane steady, hands free, and its compact design and large internal missiles means you can customize your payload or edit your plane however you want. But wait, there's more. It just doesn't get better than pure firepower. The AH-7 Dragonfly is designed to be a cheap, stable weapons platform that can dish out high explosives from up to two kilometers away. Being small and light, these Dragonflies can be stored en masse, with very little maintenance costs. The Dragonfly features folding blades for easy storage, a tilt rotor design that allows for increased speed and maneuverability, and comes stock with guided rockets for high payloads with deadly accuracy. When these dragonflies get high altitude, about 700 meters on meter, they become extremely agile, easily banking turns, doing flips, or all that other stuff you did in Battlefield 3. Coming up the rear is the heavy hitter of our ground forces, the MBT-4 Ursa. This grizzly main battle tank is extremely compact, allowing it to be deployed from both sea and air equally as easily. However, it really shines on the ground with a 32 meters per second top speed and a 120 millimeter cannon. The Ursa comes with a turret mounted camera and controllable lights that enable remote operators to fire precise shots. Advanced suspension settings and careful weight distribution allows for a smooth ride even while at high speeds or in rough terrain. The tactical balloon chute at the top of the vehicle enables it to be safely airdropped into combat or as recently discovered skim the surface of the water. Future iterations of the Ursa may include anti-ship weapons, anti-aircraft weapons, artillery, or even hover tanks. On our final stop on this wild ride, we come to the Komodo Light Fighting Vehicle. This unit is much like the Ursa, being able to be airdropped and remotely operated, but also coming with a few key differences. For one, this tank is actually designed to ride the waves. The Komodo can swim just as well as it can drive. But the Komodo is not just a tank, it's a personnel carrier as well. With comfortable seating for six, the Komodo acts almost like a little command center. The Komodo might be lighter, but with a 25mm cannon and guided missiles, it can challenge enemy units from up to two kilometers away. I can see an amphibious combat platform like this being really useful for things like mobile anti-aircraft, missile artillery, or even logistics vehicles. Well, that's gonna do it for this blueprint dump. The links for each of these will be down below in the description. I will also be uploading all the F20 variants I have, the tank lander, and that old corgi from way back when. I hope you find these blueprints useful and have as much fun using them as I did making them. 
If you have any feedback about the designs or my videos, please feel free to let me know in the comments, on Twitter, on Discord, whatever you want to do. And as always, have a boy day. Why? Why?